Euclid's Element, Book 1. Propositions. Proposition 16. In any triangle, if one of the sides be produced, the exterior angle is greater than either of the interior and opposite angles. Let ABC be a triangle, and let one side of it, BC be produced to D. I say that, the exterior angle ACD, is greater than either of the interior and opposite angles, CBA, BAC. Let AC be bisected at E. By Book 1 Proposition 10. And let BE be joined, and produced in a straight line to F. Let EF be made equal to BE. By Book 1 Proposition 3. Let FC be joined. By Book 1 Postulate 1. And let AC be drawn through to G. By Book 1 Postulate 2. Then, since AE is equal to EC, and, BE to EF, the two sides, AE, EB, are equal to the two sides, CE, EF, respectively. And, the angle AEB is equal to the angle FEC. 4. They are vertical angles. By Book 1 Proposition 15. Therefore, the base AB, is equal to the base FC. And, the triangle ABE, is equal to the triangle CFE. And, the remaining angles, are equal to the remaining angles respectively, namely, those which the equal sides subtend. By Book 1 Proposition 4. Therefore, the angle BAE, is equal to the angle ECF. But, the angle ECD, is greater than the angle ECF. By Book 1 Common Notion 5. Therefore, the angle ACD, is greater than the angle BAE. Similarly also, if BC be bisected, the angle BCG, that is, the angle ACD, by Book 1 Proposition 15, can be proved greater than the angle ABC as well. Therefore etc. What was to be shown? Proposition 17. In any triangle, two angles taken together in any manner, are less than two right angles. Let ABC be a triangle. I say that, two angles of the triangle ABC, taken together in any manner, are less than two right angles. 4. Let BC be produced to D. By Book 1 Postulate 2. Then, since the angle ACD, is an exterior angle of the triangle ABC, it is greater than the interior and opposite angle ABC. By Book 1 Proposition 16. Let the angle ACB, be added to each. Therefore the angles, ACD, ACB, are greater than the angles ABC, BCA. But, the angles, ACD, ACB, are equal to two right angles. By Book 1 Proposition 13. Therefore, the angles, ABC, BCA, are less than two right angles. Similarly, we can prove that the angles, BAC, ACB, are also less than two right angles, and so are the angles, CAB, ABC as well. Therefore etc. What was to be shown? Proposition 18. In any triangle, the greater side subtends the greater angle. 4. Let ABC be a triangle having the side AC, greater than AB. I say that, the angle ABC, is also greater than the angle BCA. 4. Since AC is greater than AB, let AD be made equal to AB. By Book 1 Proposition 3. And let BD be joined. Then, since the angle ADB, is an exterior angle of the triangle BCD. It is greater than the interior and opposite angle DCB. By Book 1 Proposition 16. But, the angle ADB, is equal to the angle ABD. Since, the side AB is equal to AD, therefore, the angle ABD, is also greater than the angle ACB. Therefore, the angle ABC, is much greater than the angle ACB. Therefore etc. 
what was to be shown. Proposition 19. In any triangle, the greater angle is subtended by the greater side. Let ABC be a triangle, having the angle ABC greater than the angle BCA. I say that the side AC is also greater than the side AB. For, if not, AC is either equal to AB or less. Now, AC is not equal to AB. For then, the angle ABC would also have been equal to the angle ACB by Book 1 Proposition 5. But, it is not. Therefore, AC is not equal to AB. Neither is AC less than AB. For then, the angle ABC would also have been less than the angle ACB by Book 1 Proposition 18. But, it is not. Therefore, AC is not less than AB. And it was proved that, it is not equal either. Therefore, AC is greater than AB. Therefore etc. What was to be shown? Proposition 20. In any triangle, two sides taken together in any manner, are greater than the remaining one. 4. Let ABC be a triangle. I say that in the triangle ABC, two sides taken together in any manner, are greater than the remaining one, namely, BA, AC, greater than BC. AB, BC, greater than AC. BC, CA, greater than AB. 4. Let BA be drawn through to the point D. Let DA be made equal to CA, and, let DC be joined. Then, since DA is equal to AC, the angle ADC, is also equal to the angle ACD, by Book 1 Proposition 5. Therefore, the angle BCD, is greater than the angle ADC, by Book 1 Common Notion 5. And, since DCB is a triangle, having the angle BCD, greater than the angle BDC, and the greater angle is subtended by the greater side, by Book 1 Proposition 19. Therefore, DB is greater than BC. But, DA is equal to AC. Therefore, BA, AC, are greater than BC. Similarly, we can prove that, AB, BC, are also greater than CA, and, BC, CA, than AB. Therefore etc. What was to be shown? Proposition 21. If on one of the sides of a triangle, from its extremities, there be constructed two straight lines meeting within the triangle, the straight lines so constructed will be less than the remaining two sides of the triangle, but will contain a greater angle. On BC, one of the sides of the triangle ABC, from its extremities B, C, let the two straight lines BD, DC, be constructed meeting within the triangle. I say that, BD, DC, are less than the remaining two sides of the triangle BA, AC, but contain an angle BDC, greater than the angle BAC. 4. Let BD be drawn through to E. Then, since in any triangle, two sides are greater than the remaining one, by Book 1 Proposition 20. Therefore, in the triangle ABE, the two sides AB, AE, are greater than BE. Let EC be added to each. Therefore, BA, AC, are greater than BE, EC. Again, since, in the triangle CED, the two sides CE, ED, are greater than CD. Let DB be added to each. Therefore, CE, EB, are greater than CD, DB. But, BA, AC, were proved greater than BE, EC. Therefore, BA, AC, are much greater than BD, DC. Again, since in any triangle, the exterior angle is greater than the interior and opposite angle, by Book 1 Proposition 16. Therefore, in the triangle CDE, the exterior angle BDC, is greater than the angle CED. 
For the same reason, moreover, in the triangle ABE also, the exterior angle CEB is greater than the angle BAC. But, the angle BDC was proved greater than the angle CEB. Therefore, the angle BDC is much greater than the angle BAC. Therefore, etc. What was to be shown? Proposition 22. Out of three straight lines, which are equal to three given straight lines, to construct a triangle, thus, it is necessary that, two of the straight lines taken together in any manner, should be greater than the remaining one. According to Book 1 Proposition 20. Let the three given straight lines be, A, B, C, and, of these, let two taken together in any manner be greater than the remaining one, namely, A, B, greater than C, A, C, greater than B, and, B, C, greater than A. Thus, it is required to construct a triangle, out of straight lines, equal to A, B, C. Let there be set out a straight line DE, terminated at D. But, of infinite length in the direction of E. And, let DF be made equal to A, FG equal to B, and GH equal to C. By Book 1 Proposition 3. With center F, and distance FD, let the circle DKL, be described. Again, with center G, and distance GH, let the circle KLH, be described. And, let KF, KG, be joined. I say that, the triangle, KFG, has been constructed out of three straight lines, equal to A, B, C. For, since the point, F, is the center of the circle, DKL. FD is equal to FK. But, FD is equal to A, therefore, KF is also equal to A. Again, since the point, G, is the center of the circle, LKH. GH is equal to GK. But, GH is equal to C, therefore, KG is also equal to C. And, FG is also equal to B. Therefore, the three straight lines, KF, FG, GK, are equal to the three straight lines, A, B, C. Therefore, out of the three straight lines, KF, FG, GK, which are equal to the three given straight lines, A, B, C, the triangle, KFG, has been constructed. That which was to be done. Proposition 23. On a given straight line, and at a point on it, to construct a rectilineal angle, equal to a given rectilineal angle. Let AB, be the given straight line, A, the point on it, and the angle, DCE, the given rectilineal angle. Thus, it is required to construct on the given straight line, AB, and at the point, A, on it, a rectilineal angle equal to the given rectilineal angle, DCE. On the straight lines, CD, CE, respectively, let the points, D, E, be taken at random. Let DE be joined. And out of three straight lines, which are equal to the three straight lines, CD, DE, CE, let the triangle, AFG, be constructed, in such a way that, CD is equal to AF, CE to AG, and further DE to FG. By Book 1 Proposition 22. Then, since the two sides, DC, CE, are equal to the two sides, FA, AG, respectively. And, the base, DE, is equal to the base, FG. The angle, DCE, is equal to the angle, FAG. By Book 1 Proposition 8. Therefore, on the given straight line, AB, and at the point, A, on it, the rectilineal angle, FAG, has been constructed equal to the given rectilineal angle, DCE. That which was to be done. 
Proposition 24. If two triangles have the two sides equal to two sides respectively, but have the one of the angles contained by the equal straight lines greater than the other, they will also have the base greater than the base. Let ABC, DEF, be two triangles having the two sides, AB, AC, equal to the two sides, DE, DF respectively, namely, AB to DE, and AC to DF, and, let the angle, at A, be greater than the angle, at D. I say that, the base, BC, is also greater than the base, EF. For, since the angle, BAC, is greater than the angle, EDF, let there be constructed, on the straight line, DE, and at the point, D, on it, the angle, EDG, equal to the angle, BAC. By Book 1 Proposition 23. Let DG, be made equal to either of the two straight lines, AC, DF. And let EG, FG, be joined. Then, since AB is equal to DE, and AC to DG, the two sides, BA, AC, are equal to the two sides, ED, DG, respectively. And, the angle, BAC, is equal to the angle, EDG. Therefore, the base, BC, is equal to the base, EG. By Book 1 Proposition 4. Again, since DF is equal to DG, the angle, DGF, is also equal to the angle, DFG. By Book 1 Proposition 5. Therefore, the angle, DFG, is greater than the angle, EGF. Therefore, the angle, EFG, is much greater than the angle, EGF. And, since EFG, is a triangle having the angle, EFG, greater than the angle, EGF. And, the greater angle, is subtended by the greater side. By Book 1 Proposition 19. The side, EG, is also greater than, EF. But, EG is equal to BC. Therefore, BC is also greater than EF. Therefore etc. What was to be shown?